What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Saw 11 in this video here today. Well, again, I should say because I've done a Saw 11 video in the past, but now we have an official announcement to talk about. So Saw 11 has been announced with an official teaser poster, it seems, and a release attached, a release date that was attached, listed for September 27th of 2024. It looks like we're getting back in the swing of things for those like myself who grew up with this yearly release trend and got excited to talk about it in school with your friends or whoever. After three though, I talked about this a little bit in the past. I kind of was more of an autopilot viewer and I would still watch each one as they drop, but never repeatedly like how some of my friends and I'm sure some of you did. I just, I never was that type of person after the third movie. I just kind of was losing interest, but I was still intrigued to watch each one as they dropped. And the thing about it was because they became those yearly release trends, it just wasn't as exciting. I was like, oh, okay, well, I know I'm going to get Saw 5 next year. I know I'm going to get Saw 6 the following year. But then you stop getting them, and that's when, you know, of course, the absence made me grow fonder of it, started to miss it. Then we got Jigsaw, which I really am not a big fan of, although it's not, like, the worst thing ever. I, I actually do think Spiral is better than Jigsaw, but Saw X blew both of those attempts at reviving the IP out of the water. And look what we're getting so fast next year with saw 11 which i have my hunch on why i think that is that doesn't mean this is the case but it's related to some insider stuff that was reported last year which definitely could be different since this is a year later but i'm down for saw 11 and i haven't been this excited about a saw announcement in a while i guess i would say since i was a kid but let's recap what we know in a few things that seem to be waiting to be confirmed that pertain to this upcoming project the official teaser poster states that the game continues obviously that's a nod to john kramer and his shenanigans that have kept us entertained for nearly two decades at this point in fact now that i think about it this is a really cool thing they can do next year with the release because they can use the movie to celebrate the 20th anniversary of saw next year anyway getting into some of the more specific topics as it pertains to stuff we can talk about and speculate on about saw 11 kevin grudert has stated he hopes cecilia will return for the next outing so we know that also her escape is highlighted by a deleted scene so we know she's alive josh stolberg and the co-writer i'm drawing a blank on with his name i think it's pete we know both of them are not returning to pin this he tweeted a few days ago thanks yes pete and i will be taking a break from saw for a bit to focus on other projects feeling lucky about doing three and happy to go out on a banger which they absolutely did but believe me you're in good hands now i wonder who these good hands are but i'm going to speculate on that a little bit later the funny thing was he started teasing Sorority Row 2 after that tweet, but I'll talk about that in another video for another time. Jumping into who I think these writers could be. Reliable Saw Reddit user Vink360 said this about Saw 11 plans almost a year ago. This person has been right about Saw X, and they were right about a lot of things with Saw X before it even became a thing. So apparently while Saw X was being written, a writer's room was formed by others to come up with a story with the same core as Saw X for Saw 11 in the form of a TV show. For those of you who've been watching my Saw videos, you've heard me talk about this in the past. This story, I guess, would have had no apprentices. It was all John Kramer, but the story would focus on the victims instead of how we got the John Kramer centric thing with Saw X. And this story is also set between Saw and Saw 3. So I'm curious if this TV show idea has been turned into a film sequel to Saw X. And that explains why we're getting Saw 11 next year. Not only because of the old trend returning, but because Saw 11 has been in the works for over a year. In, in collaboration with Saw X. Obviously, it's likely to include Amanda again, Hoffman, Cecilia, like Rudert mentioned. Also, we have this listing on Production Weekly. Shout out to UK. Uh, that would lead us to believe for now anyway that saw 11 will be filming in toronto but we'll just have to wait and see how true that is now the last thing i was going to mention was there are the specific names i'm thinking of who could be involved i recall that allegedly the two pair of writers that were involved with that writer's room you can correct me if i'm wrong were patrick melton and marcus dunston so are they the ones who have pinned the screenplay also for Saw 11? We don't know. But again, apparently there was a writer's room that came together the same time that Saw X was being written to write Saw 11 in the form of a TV show. So that's why I'm curious, did this TV show that's likely been pinned just get shortened into, okay, let's just make this the next movie we put out? We're going to have to wait and see. And I think that likely is what the case is because that kind of backs up why we're going to get it so quickly but again we also know that this is the trend with saw 
for those of you who grew up with this strain like I did. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Saw 11? Let me know down in the comment section why or why not. Do you just want the franchise to end? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.